Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that Microsoft are starting to wind things down for this year when it comes to the Windows 11 Insider program. And over and above rolling out their final and last build for the dev channel over the last day or so, Microsoft has now also rolled out their final beta channel builds for this year, being builds 22621.1037 and build 22623.1037. Now, just to take a quick look at the release notes for these final beta channel builds for this year. And there are two new improvements rolling out worth mentioning quickly for this video today, if this would be of interest. Now, as there's quite a little bit going on with the first, which is voice access improvements, I've just highlighted a couple of the key points in yellow. Now, voice access uh, in build 22623.1037 supports interaction with UR controls having different names now. And there's three different examples given by Microsoft. The first is names that contain numbers in them. For example, the calculator app. So now when you say directly to the calculator using um, the voice access, click five, that'll actually click the number five for you. And then another example is if you are using Excel, under the insert tab, you can interact with uh, UR controls like pivot table and pivot chart directly by saying click pivot table or click pivot chart. And then the third example given by Microsoft are names with special special characters in them. For example, items like Bluetooth and devices or dial-up. So those are just three examples um, that you can use regarding the new voice access improvements now in the beta channel. And over and above that, they've also improved the horizontal scroll experience um, where you can now support scrolling to the extreme left and right ends of a page. And they've also added support for user interface controls such as spin controls, thumb control, and split buttons. Now, over and above those key highlights with the new voice access improvements, um, they've also rolled out and added support for the following commands. Now, there's quite a lot going on here with these uh, different commands. So I'll leave a link to these release notes in the description if this would be of interest where you can come check out a little bit more in depth regarding those different voice access commands. Now, um, the search on the taskbar, as we can see in both beta channel builds for this year, has received now the same improvement that rolled out to the dev channel earlier this week, which is now the Windows 10 uh, style search box in the taskbar which now has the fluent design and the rounded corners. So because this is now in the beta channel, there is a very good chance that we could expect to see the new Windows 10 search style roll out with the fluent design and that search box roll out to the Windows 11 taskbar in an up and coming um, update, be that a cumulative update early next year or the moment to update also expected early next year, possibly in March or April. And as you can see for the uh, stable channel, we still get the search button, which at this stage um, doesn't do anything else, but just acts as a button where this will actually be a search box that you can actually enter a search into. And yeah, you get your little icon where you get your search highlights. And if you click on that, it'll actually show you your search highlights. So that's also now available in the beta channel. And over and above that, we get our fixes and that have rolled out and then fixes for both builds. And as mentioned, if you are interested, I will leave release notes, uh, a link to these release notes in the description if that would be of interest. So that's it. That's the key highlights rolling out now for the final beta channel builds rolling out for this year, 2022. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.